we're just wrapping up our crazy busy uh, summer season. Uh, this year we did four times the sales that we did last summer. Crazy, it was an absolute whirlwind. Um, very successful, very great year. I wanted to give a huge shout out to this machine. I'm not sponsored by this. I didn't get this for free. I bought it myself. I put it on a credit card last year. It's paid off now, which is fine, <laughs> which is good. But um, man, this thing performed so well for what we were using it for. So let me establish what this video is not. I'm not gonna give you any bright, bright, brilliant ideas on how to make a ton of money with a CNC. I have no product ideas for you. Um, uh, to use or to make or anything like that. This is just gonna be a follow-up review video on the Zenbot CNC. I did an original one, uh, original review when I was only about a couple months into using the CNC. Now I've done 800 sheets of acrylic and I wanna do a post follow-up review, give a few remarks. I'm not gonna go into all the, the spec, I'm not a spec nerd, just kinda generally how it performed, how it held up, uh, things of that nature. So. Um, yeah, I've had two of these. I had another one over there. I started with the other one. Um, I, I had to play some musical chairs because I moved into the shop. I had one in my garage and then moved that one. And so anyways, I sold the other one to a friend um, just last week. He picked that up for me. This was the main machine that I used um, for our whole summer. Uh, this machine here cut over 800 sheets of quarter inch plexiglass. Um, this machine I bought for $6,000. I think you can get it for even like five without the stand and some of the other accessories. Um, and I gotta be honest, during the summer when we're doing over um, 200 orders a week, which is a lot for us, I had my fingers crossed. I was saying a prayer. I was like, please hold it together. Please hold it together. Cause I'm assuming that this machine is not meant for this kind of use and abuse. This is more of a hobby machine. Um, and I'm in more of a commercial setting. Um, I did just buy a commercial machine for 79,000 and some change. So 6,000 machine, I'm now going to a $79,000 machine because I don't wanna build a million dollar business on a machine that wasn't designed for that. Um, but I gotta say, the, the amount of abuse, the, the sheet after sheet and pallet load after pallet load of sheets of acrylic that we fed into this thing and this thing just chewed through. I am so impressed. I, I really thought this thing was gonna break. That's why I bought two of them. I had a backup. The other one was sitting back here just as a backup in case this one um, took a poop and parts started breaking. I had a backup. I wasn't comfortable just having one of these cheaper machines. Never had to use the other one. This one held up incredibly well. I, yeah. The, the guy who designed this, um, Sean at Zenbot CNC did a phenomenal job. So if you're looking for four by eight capacity and you're on a budget and you're somewhere, I would say if you're somewhere between hobby and you're bringing in maybe $200,000 in sales a year, this is a really great machine. I, I haven't done extensive exhaustive searches out there, but from what I've seen, I don't know how any other machine can compete with this. This one, is priced at a cheap hobby level price, um, five to $6,000, but it performs like more of a $20,000 machine. Um, after 800 sheets, and I haven't calibrated it any time during, that, um, during our whole summer, after 800 sheets, I could cut a sheet and it's dead nuts accurate every single time. I can pull the corners dead on. I can pull a tape measure on the width, the height, the X, the Y, exact. like exact <laughs> it has not changed and so i i'm really impressed i honestly did not think this was going to last with all the abuse that we put into it because i'm assuming it wasn't made for that so i just got to give a big shout out to this machine um, highly recommend it if you're just kind of starting out like i was uh, last year now that we're kind of in a completely different category now that we're moving kind of into the kind of commercial side of things we're pushing a million dollars in sales that makes sense and i have the, uh, the finances to afford a more big boy commercial machine. So now we're, we're upgrading. This one, I'm pushing back over there and this will be the new backup for the new Shop Saber Pro Series 510 that I purchased and will be here probably in the next 30 days. Um, the only issue that I had <coughs> was, <coughs> so we have the little pulleys uh, that slide down onto the, the, the shaft. You'll see that this one 
actually slid all the way down and was rubbing metal to metal on the motor housing. Um, this one actually broke free. It was really uh, stuck on there. So I had this happen with uh, my Y. <clears throat> my CNC guy, Dan, who was running the machine, uh, big shout out to Dan. Dan, you rocked it, did a great job this summer. So he was cutting panels and then he came up to me, he's like, the X is good, but the Y got weird. Something happened to it. I was like, okay, just try resetting the machine, start it up again. And then like an hour or two later, he said, same thing happened. The Y just got weird. And so I, I dug into it. Uh, the belt on the Y was getting black and filthy. And then I looked um, at the motor and I had saw that the pulley had slid all the way down to the base of the motor. And it was basically, yeah, metal to metal and kind of fusing. It was preventing the Y axis from moving freely. And so <clears throat> it was just, yeah, causing a lot of metal shavings. And so I called Zon, uh, Sean at Zenbot. Um, and thankfully he already knew what the issue was. Other users reported the same issue. So he already had a new pulley um, already in stock and he sent me um, some new pulleys and a new motor. Uh, and he overnighted it to me, which is great. So I didn't really have uh, really hardly any downtime. Um, and then that was fixed and then I did I was probably maybe 200 sheets in when that issue happened. And so the 600 sheets additional with the new pulleys haven't had a single issue. I, I checked them because um, you can see that if it slid up or down or not and they're all in the same spot that, that they were. So um, support for this machine is, is really good. You can call Sean anytime and he'll, he'll help you out. So um, just wanted to do a, co a quick kind of uh, recap. I like um, kind of doing an initial first impressions uh, review on a machine when I first get it had a little bit of time to use it and then I like to try to do a review later on um, I don't really like people when they do a review and they've only used it for like an hour um, so it's it's nice to kind of have the insight of someone who's used it um, a lot uh, again I've I don't know how many but I've know I've done over 800 uh, sheets which I feel like was insane this thing has chewed through probably $100,000 worth of acrylic, um, and it still uh, cuts just as true as it did on, on day one. So uh, if you're looking for a machine with four by eight capacity, highly recommend uh, this one. And uh, thanks for watching. Sean at ZenBots, you did a hell of a job uh, creating a great machine. So <laughs> thanks.